I'm here at Paul Yaffe's uh, Chop Shop to show you the new Centennial Chopper Copper. Here's yeah. the uh, the basics of it. Now I'm in the shop with Paul. Paul, why don't you give us a little overview about what your uh, what your design is on this new uh, Arizona Centennial Chopper Copper. I did, chopper, the same, I did the same thing on the news. Yeah. I did the same thing. I said, we're going to machine some parts out of chopper. Yeah, yeah the that, copper and the chopper will tie you up. This will go on yeah. the blooper reel. Yeah, you just did it twice. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, this is the concept drawing, basically. This is what uh, we wanted to do as the copper chopper. And as we're just getting started, uh, there's some important pieces to, to initially get in place. Like uh, we've been working on the gas tank and getting it hammered out uh, in basic form uh, to do some fitment uh, tests with it and stuff. Uh, we've got uh, a programmer working on uh, drawing a program for these wheels so we can do some three-dimensional imaging on the wheels uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll cut those from, uh, from solid chunks uh, and then we're, we're just getting into the basic, I don't know how you want to say it, this is the frame and the, 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 this is the basic stance of the bike. Uh, this will be the frame that the bike is made out of uh, and then we're just starting to fit some big components to it. Um, to give it to answer some questions we have and to give us a little better direction uh, in that we get into the small specifics of really making it the Arizona Centennial Chopper. What are going to be some of the uh, the cool cool ideas that you have for this bike integrating all, all some of, of the inter yeah. <laughs> integrating some of the uh, Arizona landscape and uh, material course, and stuff like that? Well, the first off, the the, the the piece de la resistance is going to be the Arizona flag turned into a meal which is going to be really cool. Star-shaped hubs and then the sunbeams of the Arizona flag uh, making the circumference of the wheel. That's going to be awesome. Uh, we're going to do, the tank is going to be, it's going to get some copper plates put on it and I might even end up hammering one of these out of copper. I haven't decided just how uh, motivated I might be, but I've been feeling good with my hands so I might just actually end up making another one of these out of copper. Uh, we'll see how that goes. We're going to do some real cool stuff. We're going to CNC uh, some designs like the Arizona Centennial logo. I'll make some slugs out of that, and that'll end up becoming the end caps of the oil bag. Will be the, will be the Arizona Centennial logo. Will be carved into them. Uh, I'm going to make an air cleaner out of a solid block of copper. That's going to become the flat, or the excuse me, the the shape of the state of Arizona, and it'll have a little map of maybe uh, uh, early 1900s uh, Arizona on it. Uh, just uh, when we uh, achieved our statehood, you know, that kind of thing might be really cool. Um, then we're going to get into all kinds of things. I kind of, you know, when I think about Arizona and its 100 years, I think about all the copper mining. And so I so I, I think about those carts and the mines that wheeled the copper around with, and had big straps with big rivets on them that held them together. So I'll probably do some of that kind of thing. I'll get some big copper rivets. and be, It'll be very uh, industrial looking. Uh, while it's going to be very shiny, it'll be Harley Davidson powered. Uh, it'll have a twin cam motor, twin cam transmission. Uh, I'll probably kind of some cool one-off belt drive or something. And again, it'll have more Arizona little things in it. I want to. Uh, I'm actually in a couple weeks. I'm going to sit down with Marshall Trimble, uh, the singing cowboy, who's our official Arizona State historian, uh, and he's going to give me the 411 on uh, uh, the history of Arizona. He's going to basically educate me. Uh, uh, Sarah, uh, my stepdaughter, and Susie will go with me and. Be kind of fun for us, and we're going to spend the day with him and really get an understanding of the past hundred years of Arizona. Uh, and I'm sure that'll inspire me to bring some other uh, things into it, whether it be, you know, uh, uh, our American Indian heritage, whether it be uh, uh, Native American stuff or Hispanic stuff or whatever. We're, uh, I'm open to anything, and I want to kind of really capture, without making it too gaudy, you know, I want to really capture the essence of our state for the past hundred years. So, so you're going to use materials indigenous to. To, yes, uh, yes, Arizona yes. Uh, with the, real... cop, the copper that I use on it will be mined in Arizona, okay. uh, uh, and, uh, and and so on. It'll all yeah. be all the components will be made in Arizona, and uh, it'll be an Arizona born and bred, desert forged kind of motorcycle. Yeah. Okay. And so, what's uh, what's the plans with this bike when you get it done? What uh, what? Well, what's uh, I know that uh, the state of Arizona is going to do a major tour with it, some 18 months of promotions with it. Um, I, I'm going to try to get it done for Sturgis this year, so I can unveil it at Michael Lichter's. Uh, has a big museum gallery event in Sturgis every year, which I've been invited, invited to be a part of uh, this year, and I'm going to try to unveil this as my creation there. Uh, I know the Arizona State's going to sell raffle tickets and such uh, uh, with it, and uh, I, I think there's not going to be a, a soul in Arizona uh, who hasn't witnessed this bike uh, by the time the centennial comes around. So, yeah. And then according to them, there's all kinds of great stuff I'm going to be doing with it, but we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. There's word that I may be riding it into the Super Bowl. 
We'll see how that goes. That would be awesome. So. Cool. <laughs> well, thanks for uh, taking some time, and uh, this is going to get plenty of publicity over the uh, next two years, and uh, we'll be talking a lot about it in the newsletter and the website for the ride coming up with it. And, I appreciate your time, and it's got to be an honor to be able to do this for the state. Uh, totally stoked. Yeah, I can't right. wait to get started. I can't wait to really get my teeth in it. So. All righty. Thanks, Paul. We'll be with you in a couple months see how you're doing. No worries. All right. Thanks.